Hey folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at color grading in Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we get started, let's actually just do a quick recap on the difference between color grading and color correction. Color correction is what I covered in the earlier tutorials, and color correction essentially is when you're trying to correct footage that you've shot that isn't the way you want it. It might be too dull, the image too grey, too flat, it may even have a colour cast on it. And we can use Adobe Premiere Pro's colour correction tools to correct the image to get it back to a normal, good looking state. Colour grading on the other hand, which we're going to do in this tutorial, is where we've got footage that we're quite happy with, and I'm perfectly happy with this clip here, but we want to alter the colour to change the atmosphere or the mood of the clip. Let's get started. For this, I'm going to use the fast color corrector. I'm going to grab the effect from here and place it on the clip. Now the fast color corrector is only one of many tools that you can use for color grading. So I'm not going to recommend the one that you should use. We have RGB curves, there's the three-way color corrector, there's all sorts of other tools that you can use, but this is the one that I prefer. Now the colour wheel is fairly easy to use, and we've covered it in other tutorials, so just to give it a quick run through again, if I wanted to say add a, a blue tint to this image, I could pull the wheel here like so, and as we can see the image is getting bluer and bluer, and it's giving the image a slightly cold, bleak atmosphere. I can then actually add to that colour by sliding here, that's adding the gain of the colour but you really don't want to overdo it. I always think when it comes to colour grading, you want to be fairly subtle about what you're doing. So we can add blue here, or if you swing it the other way, we can give it a more warm autumnal glow. However, I'm just going to reset it here, because I think actually if you're going to do colour grading work and use the fast colour corrector or any of the other correctors, I think it's better to actually take some colour out first, because you probably will find if you start adding colour like so, I think it actually messes up a lot of the other colours. So it's probably good to saturate some colour out first before you add the colour that you want. Right, let's just reset that one more time. I'm going to just slide down here to saturation. and I'm going to take that down to about 40. Let's try that. About 40%. Okay, so saturation down to 40. And as you can see, there's still colour there, but it's grade the whole palette of the colours out slightly and it's now the green that sort of has been left and is now dominant. In some ways this looks a little bit like the sort of um, Scandinavian thrillers, sort of you know, the killing or the, the bridge in particular. Now that I've done the saturation and you can put it to 40 or 50 depending on the clip, I can go back up to the colour wheel here and add some colour. We're just going to add actually a slightly even more chillier feel to it, adding blue now like so. And you'll find that because we've saturated the clip first here and actually dampened down the colours, when we add the blue here, the clash of colours in the image isn't so alarming. Again, alternatively, I can swing it around here and give it a more sort of autumnal sort of glow, but it still has a slightly sort of wintry effect. So I might move that maybe just slightly here. If I'm going for the autumnal glow, it may be the case I saturated the image too much. So you might want to possibly put it back up to, say, 50 like so. That's a little bit better. To have a good look at the results, what you might want to do is just show this split view here. I'm going to put it on vertical and then go to show split view. And you can see the difference between the two. That's the original, and this is the one that's now been color graded. But the effect I'm actually after for this clip is a slightly wintry, chilly cold atmosphere, so I'm going to pull that back round to here. And you can see the difference, quite a nice normal balanced image here, a nice bleak, chilly, wintry image on the left here. Okay folks, hope you found that useful. See you in the next tutorial.